What did you find out after a first date that was a deal breaker? He killed his dad and was accused of sexually assaulting his sister both came directly from his mouth. Had a guy seen completely normal, met up for a breakfast date, and before our order came he causally mentioned that I was beautiful L, but would look even better with his collar on and his baby in my stomach. Out of the blue, not even remotely in the realm of the conversation at the moment. I just said I'm gonna pass on the meal and left before he said anything else, and blocked him as soon as I was home. He was a felon. Had a really unbelievable story about being locked out of his ex's house, and he broke in while just happening to be holding a rifle from turkey hunting. Terrifying. That he had restraining orders against him from not one, but two exes. Also asked if he could move in with me on the first date face with tears of joy. Met up for drinks and she started telling me about how she thought I'd get along with her brother. After a couple of drinks, we end up at the bar where her brother worked. Hell of a guy. We kept playing hair metal on the jukebox and drinking beers. She went from saying I would get along with her brother to I remind her of her brother. The more she drank, the more she said it. We ended up making out and she started repeating the shit about her brother while rubbing my crotch. I made sure she got home safe, but that shit creeped me out so much that I never spoke to her again. On the surface, he was a lawyer with an Ivy League degree. Then just one layer deep, he had six kids with five different women. One of his exes hated him so much he took their kids to Germany to get away from him. And the kicker? His youngest was six months old and he was sleeping on his ex's couch. He told me that he couldn't wait to have kids with me and that he had picked out our kids' names. When I told him that this was our first date and I wasn't sure about kids and that this was a super creepy thing to say to me, he insisted it was my duty as a woman and that it would make me very happy. Yeah, there was no second date. He didn't even make it to the first date before telling me all about the custody battle with his crazy ex-wife over their two-year-old son. Oh, plus the bit where he asked if he could kiss me, twice, and then to get around me saying no, kissed his fingers and touched my forehead and said this is my kiss to you like a creep. My date kept trying to braid my hair lol. At first, it seemed weird, but not like a deal breaker, but then he kept asking. The first time he asked, we were walking through the park, and I was telling a story, but he interrupted me, asking, can I please braid your hair? I laughed, politely said no, and continued talking, but he kept interrupting, asking to braid my hair. I asked why, but all he said was, I just want to braid it, and kept reaching for my head. I swatted his hand away a few times, and when that didn't work, I told him I was ready to go home. It was so creepy. She said she used heroin but unlike most people, she could do it safely. She was married. We met at a bar and left together. Went and had dinner saw a movie and she spent the night. The next morning she says I wonder if my husband figured out I didn't come home then she asked me for a ride to work and I got a ticket, because she didn't wear her seatbelt. He asked me to pay for his court fees, that was my turn off so I wanted to leave to end the date. I said my goodbyes, he threatened to tell the whole restaurant I was having an affair cheated on him if I left. I stayed in fear of embarrassment. Excused myself to the restroom where I made my escape to the door. He saw me from the window I saw him coming out I ran a bit, looked back to see him chasing me loudly crying face loudly crying face loudly crying face. Three days after the first time we met up this guy texted me and said he had something to ask. He said he got curious and started going through his mom's phone. He found her nudes, sent them to himself, and then jacked off to them. He asked me is that weird? I said yes and blocked him medium light skin tone thumbs up sign. He was hung up on his ex to the point he wouldn't stop talking about her for the entire dinner. Oh, and he told me he was an alcoholic that still drinks and runs AA meetings. He got drunk and I used his phone to Uber him a ride home. Her other guy showed up in the middle of our date. She said can I talk with him for a minute? I said sure then walked out the door and never looked back. She had a date right after our date with her steady boyfriend. Not the next night, five minutes later. I had to drop her off at the next date. Like, why go out with me when you have a boyfriend? 
I didn't even try to kiss her, but she planted a big one on my lips to say goodbye. He was a really bad magician. Brought cards and everything, couldn't land a trick. I felt bad and took him up on a second date, but that was it. That my date would not cut his toenails, that he would grow them on purpose, because he would prefer using his toenails to scratch his legs. I don't have to bend down so often. I got to see them. Folks, I ran. I ran. He lost a pile of money in crypto and NFTs. But still tried to convince me to get my money into it. I think she was in love with her best friend and didn't realize it. She told me she and her long-time best friend she called her wifey lived together in a single room with the friend's baby. She said that this friend always comes first and they're inseparable. They also have gotten kicked out like three times from house to house. She left the date early because whoever they were renting from was threatening to kick them out. We never really talked again but I wanted to tell she shouldn't be dating because she's already in a relationship. It was during the first date, he talked shit to a harmless homeless woman. I was close to home and dismissed myself immediately. Technically this was after a second date but, I was so impressed that he treated me and the person who introduced us to sushi. I was 18 and he was 27, so I guess it just impressed me because most 18 year olds can't just treat a group to sushi. But then he let slip that he'd paid for it all with his mom's credit card, he didn't have a job. Recovering addict. And his mom's credit cards were financing his whole life. So, it was a deal breaker. She got off on watching the guys she was with get in fights. She gave some dude the come fuck me eyes and then expected me to brawl when he came up to hit on her. Fuck no, maybe you can catch a ride home with him. Date said his ex's parents hated him. I asked why. Turns out his ex was 13F. Gee, why would her parents have a problem with them dating? Here it is, years later and I still feel like I need to shower after typing that. He had a record because he beat his ex-girlfriend. Like broke her face, bad. My friend set me up with him to boot. Worst date I ever went on. Joked about keeping women chained up in basements. Bragged about tipping poorly, while he knew I was a waitress. Kiss me without my consent at my car. Texted me non-stop afterward, wanting me to join his church. When I found out his history the next day, I was sick to my stomach. Friendship didn't last long either. He referred to every woman in his life as a cunt. His ex-wife. His co-workers. His son's girlfriend. The ladies he came across at work correction officer. He must have used it 12 times in a two-hour conversation. I think that's more than I've heard that word used in conversation in the previous 20 years combined. He was not British. There was no cultural slang going on. It was very off-putting. I got home and googled him after a great date. Turns out he was arrested 10 years before for putting a camera in the women's washroom at his dental clinic. He was a dental surgeon. Still can't believe I kissed that guy. So gross. He had no money to get home and wanted to sleep at my place, big nope, stranger. He kept telling me what to do. It seemed innocent at first, but after the third or fourth time, nah, not doing this again. He asked me to call his girlfriend to tell her we would be together now. Found his Twitter and besides his online personality being hating on women and loving soccer I saw a tweet about me, regarding a comment I said about not liking a certain artist and how stupid he thought I was, ghosted him immediately. She lied about having kids. I made it clear I didn't mind, but she was adamant that she had no kids. I find out she has a five-year-old. We're both late forties. I would be okay with her having a kid. The fact she lied is the issue. Threatening to cut my throat was a bit of a deal breaker. I read through the comments and expected to see so many trivial things. I went on a date with a woman I met while traveling for work. She mentioned her husband in passing the next morning. I said wait, you're married? To which she replied, what he doesn't know won't hurt him. I was pissed.